I believe this video could actually change your life forever. Here's why. There's something called the luck factor. What happened was Richard Wiseman conducted a 10 year study into the nature of luck. What does this have to do with producing music? Well, the study revealed that to a large extent, people make their own good and bad fortune. And the results show that it's actually possible to enhance the level of luck that you encounter in your life. Basically, if you believe that you're lucky, you're way more likely to experience good luck. And if you believe that you're unlucky or you have bad luck, you're way more likely to notice every bit of bad luck that happens in your life. In fact, most people have basically the same amount of good or bad events happening in their life, but it's the way that they view them that makes all the difference. The power is in the belief. That's why placebos work in at least one third of patients, and sometimes even up to 60% of people. And if you don't know what a placebo is, it's any treatment that has no active properties. So like a sugar pill, for example. And basically they use them when they do studies to make sure that the medicine is actually working on people and it's not just in their heads. That is how powerful belief is. So here we are at the crux of the point that I'm trying to make. And it all comes down to one quote by Henry Ford. He's the founder of Ford Motor Company, so Ford Cars and Trucks, and the chief developer of the assembly line of mass production. Basically, this guy changed the world forever in a huge way. And the quote says, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. And sometimes that quote takes a second to hit, so I'll just give you a moment. <sighs> okay, so that brings us to the biggest lie ever told about producing music, which is you can't. You can't produce music. It's way too complicated. You have to learn all kinds of software. You have to be really good at at least one instrument, hopefully multiple instruments. You have to go to music school or at least have a ton of experience before you start. Oh, and here's another really good one. You need to have a gift for music or you need to be naturally talented. And the reality is guys, some people do have a natural ability to play music better or some people just sort of have a knack for it. But producing music is really, really simple. Basically the equivalent of picking up a paintbrush, dipping it in the paint and putting the paint on a canvas. Only with production, it's not a canvas, and it's usually some sort of software. We call them DAWs or digital audio workstations. For me, I prefer to use Ableton. And the painting part of it is just recording or playing in sounds and mixing them together. It's like mixing two different paints together, or even just layering different colors on the canvas. It's super, super simple. Every part of the music production process can be broken down into really simple steps that you can actually really easily implement into your own life. If no one has told you this before, you are capable of producing music. And not just amateur music, but with some practice, some dedication, you can actually make good and even great music. Whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Seriously, more than any other factor, whether you're musically gifted or not, or have a bunch of music gear, or you went to music school, whatever it is, or you've never done any of that stuff, the biggest thing that's gonna determine whether you produce great music or not is if you believe that you can. Seriously, that's the tipping point. That's what's gonna make the difference. All of it is between your ears. Okay, now we get to the exciting part of the video. I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes and just run wild and produce a song. Now, I won't play the entire clip of me making the song, but I'll cut into certain key moments to show you exactly what I'm doing and just how easy it is to create music, and most importantly, how you can do the exact same thing. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Ableton and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get 30 minutes going on the timer. Okay, so we got 30 minutes and counting. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to save it and I'm going to call it 30 minutes of playtime. Spelled wrong. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build some drums. So with most songs, there's really five elements or five kind of categories. There's drums, bass, mids, which is like keys and guitar and that kind of stuff. And then vocals and then effects. So we're going to start with drums and we're going to start with a kick. I want to make a song kind of like Kiss Me More by Doja Cat and SZA because... It's an awesome song, and I'm going to need a pop kick. So I'm going to go and splice, look for some pop kicks. All I'm going to do is just build out a drum loop, and then we'll move on to mids after that. OK, so now we got a little drum loop going. This is how it sounds. And we're about seven minutes in. So I'm going to get rocking and rolling. I'm going to break out the guitar. I'm going to play a little guitar into it. We'll try and get a loop going for the guitar. And then I'll come back as soon as I have something recorded. OK, so now we've got some guitar recorded. Nice. 
Real quick, if you're finding this video interesting or you're learning something, I would love for you to consider subscribing and just giving me the chance to help you make the best music that you're capable of. Okay, back to the video. So now I'm gonna add some mid-range instruments, some kind of like whirly or keys. I'm gonna look through some splice sounds maybe and see what we got. Okay, I'm just gonna draw on some chords. Okay, so we've got some mid-range elements here. We have the guitar and those keys. And we're a little more than halfway done. Let's get some bass going. I'm going to play real bass, but if you don't have a real bass, you can just find some splice samples, or you can use a synth bass through Ableton. But a real bass is pretty badass, so we're going to go for it. All right, now I have a little bass part. This is what it sounds like. Cool. Let's go ahead and see what everything sounds like playing at the same time. It might sound a little bit unmixed or unbalanced, but let's, let's see what we got. Okay, now I'm just gonna go through and spend the next few minutes kind of mixing stuff and dialing in each of the sounds, and then we'll see what it sounds like after that. Oh boy, big moment. Here we go. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Let's go ahead, take a look at what we got. I'll just play it from beginning to end. I think it turned out nicely, and I think hopefully you'll be encouraged and inspired that if you put your mind to it, you can make something like this in 30 minutes as well. And if you have a voice like Doja Cat, it would pair really nicely with something like this. We kept it so simple. I mean, if you just look at these tracks, this is all the drums grouped together right here. This is what they sound like. Super simple. That's our drums. This is all our mid-range instruments. Some guitars and some keys, basically. That's really all it is. It's just guitars and keys. This is our bass, it's on its own track. We just have this guitar. And the lead and the lead guitar as well. And then a little plucky guitar. And then this synth. And all of it together. And the bass line. And then this white noise effect. And you put that all together, and now all it needs is a killer vocal. Anyway, I hope this demonstrates just how simple it is to actually produce something. And if you're willing to get the paintbrush, so to speak, and the paint and put the paint on the canvas, you can create incredible things so quickly. And it just takes practice and putting in the hours. Anyway, if you've been thinking about making music or doing production, I honestly wanna say you have so much to look forward to. Okay, so hopefully that shows you just how easy it is to make sounds in Ableton. It's not that hard to get some paint on the canvas. Honestly, the nitty gritty of production is getting what's in your head to come out of a pair of speakers. And after you can do that, then you just get faster and faster at it and also help other people get what's in their head to come out of a pair of speakers too. Now, I've been producing for something like 12 years now, so I can do it pretty quickly. But let me tell you, that was not always the case. When I first started, I was so bad at producing, but I just kept going and going. I had a pair of used Beats headphones and a super slow MacBook, and I would just sit in bed like every night tinkering away in Ableton, just trying to remake my favorite songs. And I did that for like a year and then eventually got some attention from a manager, started getting shows, got a booking agent and toured the world. And it was really just like a year's worth of really hard putting my head down work to get that whole ball rolling. But if that seems overwhelming at all, just know that I started really, really small. And you can and you should too. Don't raise the stakes very high. Just put some paint on the canvas and see what happens because you have no idea what it could turn into. And if there's a voice in your head right now telling you that you 
you can't do this. Tell it to shut up. Honestly, it's a lot. You're the one who gets to decide if you can do this or not. And if you feel like it's a money problem, you can buy a MacBook from Costco. They have a 90 day return policy. You can get Ableton. They have a 90 day free trial. And you can literally try this whole production thing out for like three months. And if you're not feeling it, just return the laptop and you don't have to buy Ableton. It's pretty much risk free. The only investment is your time. But what else are you going to do instead? And if you don't have a Costco card, I'm sure that you know somebody who does. In fact, most of you guys probably already have a computer. So you might as well just download a free trial of Ableton and try putting some paint on the canvas. If you want some samples, you can do a 14 day free trial on Splice. They have millions of samples, or there's also tons of incredible samples just floating around the web. If you just Google free sample pack. Look, the point is the barrier to entry for this whole producing music thing is way lower than it's ever been. It's so easy to get started. There's basically zero risk. So why not give yourself a chance to discover or rediscover something that you actually look forward to? I don't know. I'm biased because it's just changed my life a lot in an incredible way. And I want people to be able to experience some of the same things that I have. There's probably a small percentage of you guys who are going to want to really deep dive in this stuff. I just want to let you guys know I do have a step-by-step -step course. It walks through everything from songwriting to production, mixing, mastering, the whole music making process. And I'll put part of that in the description of the video for free. And you can check it out, get a feel for my teaching style, and see if it's something that you're into. Okay, so whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. I end almost all of my videos with the exact same tagline, and it applies right now in this video more than ever. Remember to stop making excuses and start making music. Cheers.